All right, guys. So um, after that, let's head into our last topic of the conversation today. And that is Matt Brown versus Diago Lima. Okay. So here is uh, a quick recap of what's happening with this fight. Um, Matt, Bra- Matt Brown and De- Diego Lima, they are, scheduled at, they are scheduled for to fight at UFC Fight Night event on June 19th. Okay, so this was announced um, just a few days ago, March uh, 2nd, and today is March the 5th. So let's, uh, let's take a quick look at their record. Okay, guys, um, before I move on, I, w- I would like to mention that I like Matt Brown. I-, I like Matt Brown. He is a very good fighter in a sense that he's a striker. And you guys know me, I am a sucker for strikers. I'm... I'm not too much of a fan of wrestlers. So, and on top of that, he is an old guard. He has been doing this for a very long time. And as of right now, this is 2021. I realized that he's going on a bit of a downswing from where he was uh, previously. But you know what? It's Smith freaking Brown, man. You know, like, could you really argue? You could, but I don't know why you would. Okay, so that is a bit of a tension that I got to get out there. Okay, let's take a look at Matt Spam's record for his last uh, few fights. Um, as of right now, his last, oh my goodness, I'm on uh, UFC.com and, and I'm looking at, at their fight stats. He is 2 and 5 within his last 7. Holy smokes, I didn't, I did not realize it was that bad. So, Matt Brown, he's sitting at 2-5 and five within his last 7, and he was last competed at UFC Fight Night, Hollow vs. Cater, on January 16th, 2021, when he fought uh, Carlos Contet, and he lost with a unanimous decision. That was this year, a few months ago. And his last win was at UFC 45, December, uh, UFC 45, Usman versus Covington, December 14th, 2019. So that's a, that's a rough one. But let's take a look at his uh, opponents real fast before we get into a bunch of details that I want to talk about. And his opponent is the man right there, Diego Lima. And Di- Diego Lima's record, he is... Okay, the last uh, the last eight. He is three and five. The last eight, so it's not faring that much better. He last competed at UFC two fifty eight, Usman versus Burns on February thirteenth, which was uh, last month, and that was him versus Bahal Muhammad, and he lost in a decision as well. That was his last um, time he fought, and his last loss. And his last win was at UFC 43, Whitaker versus um, Edisanya on October 5th, 2019. And he won with a split decision from Luke Yamal. Something like that. We are going to go with that. Okay, so these guys, uh, these guys' record, they are not looking that good, unfortunately. But you know, guys, that doesn't makes that does not chide me away that does not make me want to watch this these guys fight because like i just previously mentioned i mean it's matt brown who does not want to watch Man, matt brown fight these two guys they are a slugger i realized that the last few fights it was a decision but if you see matt brown's fight versus uh carlos condit that was a 50 50 as well it could have gone either way and the same thing can be said with um, Diego Lima. Because when he fought uh, against um, Bala, Bala Muhammad, that was a split decision. That was a split decision. And with that loss, with that loss, this is what happened. With that loss to Bala, Bala, B-E-L-A-N. I'm, I'm, having t- I'm having a tough time saying that name. But regardless, with that win for Bala, he, he is now scheduled to face um, Leon Edward in the main event coming up. 
And as you guys may know, he is t he is replacing um Kamsa Chimaya because of well COVID. COVID has been taking everyone else everyone out. And this man right here, Matt Brown, he's been competing for a very long time, and I believe at one point he might have competed for the UFC um interim title. Let's have a quick look. I believe that he did. No, he did not. Because I'm looking at his record right now, there's no belt ne next to his name. Because I believe I believe at um, one point, he was on that short list. Short list to fight for the interim title. But that never came to a provision because he fought Nick Diaz. Am I just making stuff up? Did he even fight Nick Diaz? No, so he fought um, Maya. He fought um, Damien Maya. And... He lost that one, and also he lost to Johnny Hendrick and Robbie Lawler. Like those guys that he lost to, those guys are still the best in in the division. Well, except for Johnny Hendrick, he's not he's no longer within the UFC. But D David Maya, Carlos Condit, those guys are they're still top ten. Essentially, they're still top ten. And for Diego, he lost his uh, last few loss uh, to uh, Yushin Okami. Mohammed, uh, Jesse Taylor, and Li Ying Lai, and Tim Means. Wow. You guys, I don't care what anyone says, this is going to be a fun fight. Out there today, this is going to be a fun fight. I am still looking forward to it. I am still looking forward to it because I am fairly certain. I am, I say, 99% 99% certain because me being biased, I, I mentioned this before, is that this is going to be a fight. This is not going to be a wrestling match. This is not going to be a point match. This is not going to be so much as of a hit and run. These guys will stand in front of each other. They will they will throw hands. Because at the end of the day, me as a fight fan, isn't that what I want to see? Yes. Yes, it is. And if these guys are going to deliver, why wouldn't I watch it? The answer to that question is that, Yes, of course I would. Why Why wouldn't I? Why would I not watch this fight? And I realized, as right now, this is only March, April, May, June. So so that's uh, three more months. But this fight was just announced uh, two days ago on March uh, March the 2nd, which is scheduled for UFC fight night uh, in in July, July, July 19th. I don't know how, how high they are going to stack this up. I can see this fight being a common event. I don't necessarily see this fight being as a main event, but you you never know. It could be. As for right now, these two guys, they are not riding, they are not having the best the best record. Like I said, one is in Matt Brown, he is two and five. So seven. Two win within within the last ten fight. And Diego Lima, he is at three and five, so three wins with within the last eight fight. But you know what, you guys? Me personally, I I don't care. I just don't care about record at the moment because I'm a Matt Browns fan. I just want to see this guy fighting. I want him to win, Matt Brown. But you never know. He is getting he is getting up there in age as well. I don't think. Well, obviously he can't. Well, I shouldn't say obvious because I don't know. Um, it seems to me that he cannot take as much shots, as much hit as he used to. But he is still in the game. He's still competing at the at the highest level. And on top of that, there is a possibility that for one of these guys that they are fighting for the job. Because with the recent cut of the UFC, with the release of Junior Dos Santos and Alex Dovarin, nothing's guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed, and this might be it for these guys. If one of these guys lose, lose this fight, lose, lose this fight coming up, it might be the last fight in the UFC for a while, or it might be the last fight in the UFC essentially forever, unless they go into like Bellator or PFL, because as of right now, that is the that is the two destination that fighters when they get released from the UFC that is where they tend to head at 
the one thing that I don't want to see these guys go to is you guys this is just me being me bare knuckle like that is the last place that is the last place that I want to see these guys these guys go and fight it's, uh, it's bare knuckle fighting and that is said and I'm saying that for of how I feel of I don't want Junior Dos Santos or Alistair Overeem going to bare knuckle collider. That just it's too vicious. It's too vicious for me. It's not for my liking. I, it's not for my liking. I don't find it entertaining. And when I found out that Paige Van Sang signed with bare knuckle, I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is uh, that is gonna be a bloodbath. And truth be told, I thought that she came out of that fight better than I thought that she would have done and the reason I, the reason why I say that is that I thought I kind of thought that heading into a fight oh, that she would get messed up to she would get cut up essentially and on top of that I believe that our bare knuckle is the final destination for all fighter I just hope that PR oh, sorry that bare knuckle um, give Paige a very nice payday which she said that they are and that's why she's uh, heading back to that promotion soon sometime this summer so let's get back to Matt Brown and Diego Lima you guys I am looking for this fight I'm a fight fan I'm um, a Matt Brown fan and I can see this being um, a fire, fire, firework of fight no takedown just stand trade you fall, you fall down you lose that is essentially what I think is going to happen with, between these two. I might be wrong, but I am. I'm hoping that I'm not wrong. Let's put it that way. I am hoping that I am not wrong. So that is a quick fight announcement from the UFC. Matt Brown, Diego Lima, UFC Fight Night June nineteenth. I am looking forward to it, and I hope you as well. Okay, you guys. So once again, if you have not, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell me what you think in the comment section below because I would love to hear from you guys. The reason why I'm starting this channel is that is that I would like to start a conversation. And this is what I'm doing it. Okay. Okay, you guys. Uh, take care. I would love to hear from you. Take care. Stay healthy. Um, I will see you shortly. Good night, guys. Bye. Be safe.